Mrs. Mustang's boot guy is going back to Force of Motor Sports 6. We have another ridiculous car bill here. A Beetle. A Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> it actually can get up to auto class. I put a few upgrades in it just to see if it could. I put a conversion in for a um, 3 liter F6 engine. I put, and I put a twin turbo in it. So now let's see what we can do with the vehicle. We can put that on or we can just remove it. I'm gonna put that on. <laughs> oh, I really want to put that on because it doesn't do anything. I really, really want to put that on. <laughs> I feel so inclined to put that on right now. You know what? I'm sorry, Beetle fans. If you want to see... Why can't you have a combination of both of those, huh? Why can't you have a force one that has both of them? Shame on you, Forza, for not making that possible. You have to remove your bumper. You want race tires? I'm curious to see how this will go. Because it could have a decent amount of horsepower. All right, up to 400. And um, we have pretty small tires. I'm gonna, we have pretty small tires now. That's, that's not good. Um, but I'm curious to see how much power you get. And if it is controllable. Because it's all well and good to have a lot of power. But if you can't use it. Why bother? That's like the whole thing of this series. Can these cars that have ridiculous amounts of power be able to control their power and beat a race car with less power? But more control. So, um, yeah, it's, I'm, it's curious. It's a curious thing. I never actually thought of using this, but I'm just like, Oh, hey, look, a beetle. Let's see if we can get up that up to it. I put the engine in, and I'm like, oh, hey, that can actually get up to our class. And it's one of the suckiest cars in the game. Sure, the VW camp camper. Well, actually, it's out of 200 pounds. 1,700 pounds. What's a car that's going to have a lack of horsepower, I bet. Considering we're already up to 500. Come on. Thank you. Uh, come on. I, I'm cur I'm thinking right around the 700 horsepower mark is I think we're going to end up. Because we're already in an R class with 543 horsepower. 600 horsepower. Oh, no. Oh, 617. Is that 800? That's a little ridiculous. 647. <laughs> 657. Oh no, we have the twin turbo coming up, don't we? <laughs> That's 150 horsepower! Eight. 817 horsepower! This thing's just a little bit scary. 852 horsepower! Oh no! And our final thing, 861 horsepower, 1,700 pounds. This is going to go very, very badly. I don't know what's going to happen. So we are at Hockenheim, and we're going to see if it can beat the 1 minute, 50, 1 minute 33 second, 57 millisecond time of the... Ferrari 312P race car. I'm very afraid of this car. Fast control issues. But it understeers. It's understeer. And it's fast. I mean, it should be fast. That's like 800 horsepower. And it's actually not too hard to control, actually, in all honesty. But this is now, like, the ultimate sleeper. That's, like, because, sure, it has a wing on it, but people put wings on anything. I've seen people put Land Rover, wings on Land Rovers. So, this could still technically be a sleeper, if you just remove the wing and the, um, front beard thingy. 
which they call a splitter, then yes, this will be like the best sleeper car on the planet. 800 horsepower. I'm still concerned about the tires. All right. I'm glad we were able to keep the um, white wall rims, or not really the white the rims, yeah. The white rims, I, I, I'm glad you're able to keep the staff rims. Because those things are cool, actually. I mean, the rest of the car sucks. Like, the body's awesome. The wheels are awesome. The car's a slow thing, though. I'm here to change that. And I'm hoping this car's going to be able to beat it and show that Volkswagen, if you upgrade it, might not be such a horrible vehicle. <clears throat> go home. Go home. A 137 on our first lap. Not too shabby, Mr. Volkswagen. Oh, no, that's a two-year moment. Do not hit that curve. It's very easy to roll off that curve. 155 miles an hour down the straight there. That's fast. That's really fast. Go, go, go. Go. I'm glad we don't have an issue of, like, um, rolling over anything, because... It's not too small of a wheelbase, but it's still not very large either. So, it could have a tendency to roll over, but it doesn't, which is awesome. And so let's go in a car doesn't want to try to kill you every time you drive it. That's like on my list of requirements when you need to get a car. Make sure it doesn't kill you. That's always a plus <laughs> in my book. Come on, though. Come on. Come on, little Beal. We need to do it. We need to, we're shaving off two seconds already. Come on, around the corner, 80 miles, 80 miles an hour. No, do not do that now. We're, do, we're setting a really good lap time so far. Now this section has issues on, or it used, or it had on the first lap, but once you get once you get used to the vehicle and its slight understeer. Then it's pretty easy to drive, actually. The Beetle. Come on! Race the line! 134! We're so close! Oh no. Don't do that, Mr. Beetle. We are so close! And we have two more laps to beat it! We need to shave off one and a half more seconds! The Beetle! That would be amazing if the Beetle was the car to beat the Ferrari. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> if the Beetle, if the Volkswagen Beetle of all things was the one to beat the Ferrari. <laughs> that would be one heck of a show. No brakes, brakes, brakes work. Thank you brakes for working. I kind of worked out the braking zone just a tad bit. Now it's going to come down to refined movements. And being a little bit risky. Because that last lap is a good lap. So it's all about being a little bit risky and having no errors. And so far we are doing the trick. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, we're on the corner, nice and fine. That was pretty good too. Come on, we can do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, race to the line. No, we're so close. 133.84 on our last lap. Come on, come on, Beetle. Shave off just those eight more sec, eight more milliseconds. Shave off eight milliseconds. That's your only goal. Come on, Beetle! I, I cannot believe I'm rooting for a Volkswagen Beetle! Go! Come on, we need to go faster than that. We're only shaving off point three. Come on, Mr. Beetle. Come on, Mr. Beetle. Come on, Mr. Beetle. Go! Be champion! Go! Go, Mr. Beetle! Be victorious! Oh, we're not gonna do it. 
We're not gonna do it, sadly. We are so close. We're only shaving, we're only shaving off 0 0.1 seconds. Ah, man. <clears throat> That's slightly disappointing. We are, this is the, it's ironic. The Beetle, which, sure, it's a like cult classic and everything, but car enthusiasts look at it as like a slow thing. And yet a Volkswagen Beetle almost beat a Ferrari race car. And the Beatles time a 133.846. Oh, that was so close. So, so close with the Beatle. But no cigar. But how fast is it? Alright, here I am at the Le Mans straight. Now let's see how fast this car can go. I turned off um traction control just to see, just for a little bit extra challenge. I'll probably do that for the speedruns, but not for anything else. Just because you have to manage your um, turning on the speed run because you're going really, really fast. Like, really, really fast. 200 miles an hour in a Beetle. Uh, I don't know if the Beetle did it. Hang on. Those rims are different than those rims. Maybe it's just a shell blocking the white, but it looks different. What? I don't know. I'm, I'm, confu I'm confused. I don't know what. Okay, whatever. When you're going 213 miles an hour. Did I see 214? No, I saw 212. Okay. That's a wheelie. That's a wheelie. That's a bad thing. I made the corner at 208 miles an hour. <laughs> 208 miles an hour on a corner and a beetle. That's fast. <laughs> That's really fast. If one else really use that power for um to beat the Ferrari, that was that was quite a close race with the Ferrari, but, but yeah. That's fast. 213 miles an hour for a beetle. Um that puts it in second to, in third place. Yeah, third place if my math serves me correctly. And remember how many cars are. Be one mile an hour faster than the Renault. And yeah, that is it for this episode of Forza Motorsport 6. I'll be back with more.